Welcome back, Trekkie friends. As promised, we're gonna go where no one has gone before. This week, we're gonna go into engineering and check out Montgomery Scott's lemon chicken. So grab your skillets, set your phasers to stun, and away team, meet me in the transporter room for your mission. Let's just hope you're not wearing a red shirt. <laughs> what? What is this? Pause here to write down what you'll need to follow along. First, make sure you remove any critters you've got on your counter. Then chop your onion up fine and cut your boneless, skinless chicken breasts into little bite-sized pieces. Now, I went ahead and doubled this recipe, but if you want to stick to the serving size of the recipe, just go strictly by their measurements. After that, it's time to move to the stove, but please be sure to clean up any food bits behind you, lest any varmints get into it and breed. Unfortunately, these critters got into my rice and reproduced very quickly thereafter. So make sure your rice is free of any infestations before you cook it. Now, if you happen to have a replicator, you can go ahead and skip this step. But since I had the time, I decided to go ahead and do this the old-fashioned way. Add some oil to your hot skillet, then you'll be able to saute your chicken pieces along with your onion. And once the onion is translucent, go ahead and add in your lemon juice. Being very careful not to let your little animals get too close to the flame. Go ahead and add your white wine once your chicken is a bit brown. You're gonna simmer this for about 15 minutes. Season with salt and pepper, if you have any left, and add in your broccoli or asparagus. Cook until just done, not a little overdone like I did. Being careful not to squish any newborn creatures. Place your rice on the bottom of a pretty serving dish and then add your chicken and broccoli mixture. This is the perfect dish to serve right at the table family style. Let's dish this up. All right. Oh my gosh. God. They're everywhere. <sighs> All right. Let's just do this. <laughs> All right, little babies, you're going to have to move. Man, I don't even have anywhere to put my food. I know. Oh, and don't get your food too close to them because we've already found out what happens after. Surely it can't make any more of them. Oh, it can. Okay, so I say let's go ahead and just taste it before any of these little things can get on our plate and okay. eat it first. It's better than I thought it was going to be. I think it's got a really good, well-balanced flavor. Yeah, I do too. I think I just add a little bit more salt, but I mean, that's just me. I love <clears throat> salt, so. Yeah, a little salt would help. Mm -hmm. But I, you can really taste the lemon. Oh yeah, I definitely. was really surprised about that. It's really made it good. The chicken's tender. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing probably, and this is my fault, I accidentally overcooked this a little bit. Um, so my broccoli was a little bit overdone. You kind of want to keep it a little bit on the crisp spot side and a little bit, you know, uh, more green mm. um, than what I did. But I was also kind of distracted yeah. while cooking. So um, <laughs> as far as the cookbook, I would say this is a, I'm gonna do just like I did with the other cookbooks, that it's super niche, but if you like the show, you're gonna love the cookbook. Yeah. Um, the only thing that I was a little disappointed in is it was kind of heavy on Deep Space Nine and Voyager mm. and not as heavy on TOS and next generation mm. but you know tos only had three seasons probably very little food uh references in it so that was probably and i mean yeah. voyager and deep space nine had many more seasons to pull from right so you probably can't count off for, for that. that yeah because i mean that's really not their fault but as far as all the rest of it i think it's really cute 
it's done really cute. Um, there's pictures in here. There's little stories. Uh, it, it's just kind of a overall good, fun time through the world of Star Trek. And if you're having a, a Star Trek dinner party, for instance, you're going to want this because you can make Vulcan Plomeek soup. So everybody needs to do that, right? At least one time. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and wrap this up because we have a severe problem on our hands that we probably need to go um, take care of. So, so what are you going to do about all this? Okay. So, <laughs> I got a plan. Uh-oh. Hey, Lena, what did you call me for? Hey, glad hey. you're here. There you go. What? Bye -bye. Hey, what are these things? If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button for future videos. In the meantime, here are two videos you may enjoy. Thanks for watching.